Hey everyone, welcome back to Outbot Gold, where we dive into the classics of gaming and see how they hold up in today's world. Today we're taking a trip down memory lane with a game that's near and dear to many shooter fans' hearts, Painkiller. But before we get into that, let's talk about a recent game that brought back some fond memories, Witchfire. Witchfire is developed by the astronauts, immediately caught my attention because of its fast-paced action and dark atmospheric world, but we know what, it reminded me a lot of Painkiller. That's no coincidence, considering the astronauts was founded by former members of People Can Fly, the studio behind Painkiller and Bulletstorm. Those guys sure know how to make a shooter that gets your heart pumping. Now, let's dive into Painkiller itself. This game, released in 2004, was an absolute blast to play back in the day, and it still holds up remarkably well today. Set in a dark and gritty world filled with demons and other monstrosities, Painkiller throws you into the shoes of Daniel Garner, a man trapped between heaven and hell fighting his way through purgatory to redeem his soul. The game plays where Painkiller truly shines, it's pure, unadulterated, adrenaline filled action from start to finish. The levels are sprawling and filled with hordes of enemies just waiting to be torn apart by your arsenal of devastating weapons. Each weapon feels unique and satisfying to use, but what really sets Painkiller apart is its boss battles. These encounters are epic in every sense of the word, pitting you against auric monstrosities that require quick reflexes and strategic thinking to defeat. Each boss battle is memorable and exhilarating experience. And let's not forget about the expansion, Battle Out of Hell. This addition to the game introduced new levels, enemies and weapons, expanding upon the already impressive foundation laid by the base game. It's a must play for any fan of the original Painkiller. Painkiller may not have cutting edge visuals of the modern games, but it still holds up surprisingly well. The dark and atmospheric environments are dripping with detail and the character models, while a bit dated, still have a certain charm to them. Plus, the game's art style has a timeless quality that helps it stand the test of time. In summary, Painkiller is a classic shooter that's just as fun to play today as it was back in 2004, with its intense gameplay, epic post battles and dark atmosphere. It's a game that deserves a spot in every shooter's fan collection, and with Twitch Fire, it's clear that the legacy of Painkiller continues to influence the world of gaming to this day. So, grab your steak gun and get ready to unleash hell, because Painkiller is old, but definitely gold.